Hey everybody, how's it going today? Welcome back to Arm Pitching Development. Tonight we're going to take a look at some must-do youth J-band exercises that are gonna help promote strength, stability, and mobility through the shoulder. Why are these important? As the youth athlete is going through their season or preseason, or depending on what season they're in, we want to work to strengthen the shoulder. And when I'm talking about shoulder, your rotator cuff, but that's a big part, right? There's four main components to your rotator cuff. We're going to sort those out and try to work mostly on the posterior cuff. When I talk about posterior cuff, we're talking about the terrace minor and your subscap, uh, which are on the back side of your shoulder. My position with this is that I see a lot of uh, youth athletes, I'm talking about eight to 12, even, even a lot of high school guys have issues with the back side of their, their shoulders not being strong enough to handle the force of the throw that they're trying to make while they're pitching or even playing in the field in a position. So by strengthening up the back side of the shoulder, we bring this up and allow the anterior part through the position, through your arm position of your throw, the acceleration happens a little bit better because you're strong enough to decelerate the arm in, in motion and in action. Uh, so if we think of it this way, um, the gas pedal is in the front of the shoulder, your anterior shoulder. The brakes of, uh, are in the back side of your shoulder. So the car, in essence, is only going to go as fast as as good of brakes as you have to make a good stop. So if we want to throw harder, work on conditioning, and uh, throw longer, we want to build up the strength and stability in the shoulder. So we're gonna cover some J-band routines tonight for youth guys. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is the strength and resistance on the band. This is a junior band from uh, Jager Sports, okay? There is a full size band where there's a little bit thicker tubing to it. My experience is usually guys that are younger cannot handle the resistance or they fall out of form or shape when they're doing these movements. So these ones with the thinner tube are really good to, to have and work from for a younger athletes. The first one we're gonna do is an exterior 90 rotation. So you'll put the cuff on. Okay, so having the cuff on, we're gonna work on an elevated 90 external. So we're gonna get the back side of the posterior side, the back side of your shoulder, and we're just gonna flail up and back. We wanna keep the elbow elevated even with the shoulder line and then work it up and back from this point. At the end of the video, I'll put a card up that will uh, link you to a, a strength video. Uh, so if guys can't handle this and they're too young or too little with the, the J-band, what we'll do is maybe start with a baseball or a lighter weight and we'll start strengthening up from there. So I'll put a link at the end of the video in there for you guys on that. Uh, elevated here, we're gonna go inside, internal 90. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is put a towel or, or have to hold my arm in here so it'll keep my elbow locked in and I'm work the anterior and posterior shoulder from this way, just flying open. On these, you'll really want to have the athlete just try to work till burnout. If you start seeing a collapse in form, go ahead and have them stop. Okay, on the third band movement for must-do youth J-band exercises, we're going to clip and try to Try to keep the band probably around waist height or so. We're gonna come back and we're gonna just pull the band back in a straight line and engage your terrace minor here that it's kind of just underneath your armpit here and engage it back and pull back and strength to this point. So in terms of reps or number of reps, I don't really have a number for you. If he, you know, if the athlete you're working with can handle 10 and that's it, then just work from 10 and Kind of build up from that point. Okay, the next one we're going to build up from eyes. So on this one I'm going to clip the band down just a little bit and I'm going to keep my arm pretty pretty close in at this point. I'm going to work the band up almost into my ear and back down. So think you're making a chop action here keeping it locked up and then when you get to the top I like to try to overstretch the top or the height of the movement. Okay, on the next one, we're gonna keep our thumb down on this and we're gonna do a pronated Y. So when I'm talking about Y, we're gonna Y up here, but we're gonna keep it pronated on our way up. So having the thumb down, maybe open up your, your back step just a little bit and pronate here and work up through it. Okay, on the next one, we're gonna clip up to about shoulder height. 
Okay, and these are called, I call them uh, Nelson scap rotations. So I'm gonna keep the hand in the back side of my head here, put the band on the back side of my head, and I'm gonna go into a split stance. I'm gonna work it forward, and I'm gonna peel my shoulder blade back, and then work it back through. Peel back, engage, and run it back through. Next one, I'm gonna clip down a little bit here. We're just gonna do a normal reverse Y. So I'm gonna come up, maybe drop step in a little bit, open up and peel back. Okay, on the last one here, we're gonna open up and just like we were doing our, our external rotations here, we're gonna do it back and peel our shoulder blades back together and uh, call these no money. So back, pinch. So at any rate, why are these important? So taking care of the back side of the shoulder is gonna be extremely important for building up the overall shoulder health of, uh, of your thrower. Uh, by doing this at an early age, I think you're gonna see a lot of added benefit, not just by throwing the ball hard, but by limit longevity of being able to throw in duration and then also you'll see once we start peeling back a lot of younger kids when they throw the ball they drop their elbow and push through strengthening up the back side allows strength in elevation through the elbow as they present the ball through their throw so anyways i hope you enjoy the our must do j band exercises for youth baseball players youth throwers and thank you guys so much for checking out the video today i really appreciate that Hey, for uh, more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. And also, if you like the content we shoot here, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And until I shoot the next video, I look forward to seeing you next time.